All right, I'm here with uh, Chief Foster, one of the instructors in the EVCC Fire Science Program, and one of the instructors specifically in the course Fire 100, the Firefighter Academy, and recruit Brian Buckingham. And they're gonna show you a little bit about the gear that students use uh, during the academy, um, and kind of uh, some of the equipment that's surrounding us and uh, what the recruits use it for. All right, well, I have Recruit Buckingham here, former Marine, uh, one of our better students in donning and doffing gear. And what you can see is, is Buck, why don't you show him your hood? We put wear this hood. This is the thermal thermal layer that you put on to protect your head and face and shoulders. Okay, and then he also has his PPE, trousers and boots and gloves. Now he'll don them after he takes off his tennis shoes. Our standard is a minute to don and doff. We're going to do it a little bit slower today, but the importance is being prepared and ready to respond on a fire apparatus. Okay. All of this stuff is designed to give you reasonable amounts of protection in an atmosphere that's going to be anywhere from four to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This encapsulates the firefighter in addition to uh, giving them some strength. The old days was just nothing more than rain boots and an overcoat. Right. And so Buck will put his helmet on. So at this stage, he puts on his gloves. He's prepared to mount the fire truck, ride to the fire, and be prepared to fight it. In addition, we have an SCBA, self-contained breathing apparatus, that Buck's going to put on another 35 pounds of gear. Most of the time when you see a firefighter at a fire scene, they have 70 pounds of equipment that they're going to be wearing. So their tank contains compressed air that will allow them from 15 to 35 minutes of air consumption on the fire scene. Most of this stuff is fairly complex. He'd have a mask that he'd also don that would uh, seal out any of the particulates. So this is what you're going to see on the fire seat. He's prepared to go in now, attack the seat of the fire, and most probably put the fire out. He's also prepared to start any of the life rescues that need to be done. Awesome. Chief, why do you see firefighters with mustaches but not beards? Because you need to have a seal for your mask so that everything is sealed completely from the atmosphere. If you have a beard, it's going to bleed area. Besides, having a long mustache in the fire service is cool. <laughs> 